Everybody remembers the Mystery Machine with Fred and Velma and Daphne, Shaggy and Scooby. So, uh, who do you think would make a beer relating to those characters? Let's have a look. Another beer review from the Beer Sarge. Hey guys, welcome back to another beer review of the Beer Sarge. So yeah, like I was saying, uh, Scooby-Doo, the um, animated cartoon from when we were all kids. Um, and it's probably still running now. And I think there's a movie in a, in a fucking um, animated series. They don't call them cartoons anymore, it's an animated series. Um, well, who do you think would make a beer sort of uh, relating to them? Well, these fuckers here would, wouldn't they? Behemoth, Shaggy and Scooby. Check that out. So, Behemoth, um, Auckland crowd, used to do a lot of like contract brewing, like they'd brew with other brewers, um, get themselves around. They've now got their own brew pub um, in Auckland since 2019, I think it was. They've got a brew pub. Um, yeah, and they brew like a shitload of beers. Um, all, all the time, different stuff coming out all the time. This one is a uh, hazy IPA and it's called Hazy Hot Buddies featuring Simcoe and Nectaron. So two fairly decent sort of um, hops there. This is a number 11. Uh, what does it say on the side here? Uh, Roro. Here we go again, another day, another wacky adventure, Shaggy and Scooby. They've had an unbreakable bond since they were little. Their love of food and solving mysteries, especially when bribed with food, well mainly Scooby, is undeniable. The pineapple and pine of Simcoe, with the peach and passion fruit of Nectaron, make for a perfect Scooby snack of a hazy IPA. Bland beer could have gotten away with it too if it was not for you meddling kids. Um, yeah, so a little bit of a hark to the past I guess for, for some of us, the old uh, Shaggy and Scooby days. Right, let's get this into a glass and see where we're uh, see where we're at. This is a nice looking hazy, um, sort of a peach colour. It, it actually looks like it might be looks like peach juice, but just looks fucking fantastic. Actually, look at that, fucking beautiful. With that wind's just caught it, and it's fucking. You can just smell it's peach and passion fruit, like especially passion fruit. You really smell passion fruit coming off this. Um, yeah, fuck that smells bloody awesome. All right, this was. I think this was about eleven ninety nine. It was a fairly it was fairly fucking dear, fairly dear at um, at Liquorland, but it's a six point four. Um, yeah, and you got to pay for the quality, don't you? Got to pay for the quality. So the aroma coming off that, definitely the passion fruit. Yeah, really prominent with passion fruit and pineapple. Can't get any peach there. What are the other ones? I reckon peach and fucking pine. You'd probably get the pine and the taste, I would think. With the um, sort of the resinous sort of flavours that you get. It does smell fucking really good. Really sharp bitterness. Sharp bitterness. But, which is kind of, it's a bit weird because you, you, when you drink it you're getting that sharp bitterness but the, the smell of it is still hanging around of that real sweet pineapple passion fruity sort of stuff so it's a it's a bit of a fucking play on your old taste buds oh fuck that is good that is good that's one you should try wow that's really good that is that's so good should I'll be buying this one again um, there you go Shaggy and Scooby it's pretty cool fucking artwork from these dudes as well they uh, they go they're outstanding with their um, with their cans just the, the mutts nuts really aren't they 
get down to your liquor land, pick one of these up and um, give it a shot, give it a shot. All right, that's all I have for you today. Catch you later.